This is Jordan. Jordan's athletic. He enjoys playing soccer, martial arts, and cricket. Though Jordan enjoys an active lifestyle, he faces many challenges in performing even the simplest of tasks. Jordan has Proteus. Proteus syndrome was first identified by Dr. Michael Cohen Jr. in 1979. And in 1983, a German pediatrician, Hans Rudolf Weidemann, named the disease after the Greek god Proteus because of his ability to shapeshift. Proteus syndrome is classified as a segmental growth disorder. It is identified predominantly by asymmetrical limbs, excess growth. Many other common symptoms are increased mass of organs and bones, rough patches, overgrown blood vessels, formation of blood clots. Though the tumors are benign, Proteus also carries an increased risk of cancer. These symptoms are not found universally and can vary greatly between cases. Proteus syndrome is difficult to diagnose because there have only been between 100 and 200 documented cases. There is evidence to suggest Proteus is caused by a mutation on the PTN gene, located on chromosome 10. The cause is thought to be a random frame shift insertion mutation in the somatic cells. The mutation is dominant. The PTN gene typically produces the PTN protein, which is responsible for signaling cells to stop dividing. The mutation changes the protein so that the cells do not know when to stop dividing, resulting in excess growth. PTN protein only accounts for about 50% of all the cases. The cause for the rest is unknown but is believed to be caused by somatic mosaics. Proteus syndrome does not run in families because mutation is located in the somatic cells. It is not more common in certain environments. The cases are equally distributed between males and females and no ethnic group is more susceptible. The quality of life for the patient and their family is completely dependent on the severity and placement of the growths. From all the information gathered, we have come to the conclusion that since this disease is so varied, it would be hard to generalize. But we came up with some variables that would really make a difference. Whether or not they are retarded, medical costs, amount of time visiting doctors, the affected parts of the body, and the pain the, the disease could potentially cause you. No known genetic tests exist. Proteus is diagnosed by the appearance of symptoms. The only treatment for Proteus is the treatment of the symptoms. Surgery can be done to halt the abnormal growths and regular doctor's visits to monitor the progression of the disease. There are no cures or prospective treatments on the horizon for Proteus. But Proteus is being studied. Dr. Besker is testing the hypothesis that Proteus results from somatic mosaicism of a dominant lethal gene whose location has not yet been identified. He is also working to determine the actual symptoms by testing tissues of affected and unaffected patients and examining them for alterations in gene structure or expression. Dr. Besker's team has already found a link between Proteus syndrome and two of its complications, massive pulmonary embolism and tumor predisposition. The more we know about this disease, the better the treatment will be for patients. Dr. Besker's studies are providing hope for future treatments.